Ian, um, this is today with Penny Graff. Um, Penny, you're an author. What was your first book called? My first book was Like Fast Money. And um, what was that about? It's, it's a private eye, it's set mm. in this area. It's about a, a young girl who's basically at the start of her career, mm. and she comes to Hull, surely on a whim really, chasing a job. Mm. And it sees her exploring the area and finding out all the, um, well really, the, the hidden, hidden hole the nest. It, it's a wonderful book to write from that point of view. Right, it's still in, in print, is it? It is, it's, it's sold out within a month. Uh, well, I'd like to think that was partly due to the interview on Seaside Radio. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> right, and you have a no, new book out now. Yes, this is called The Doll Makers, and this is about the same heroine, Annie. She's further on in her career now, and she's actually heading back to her roots, her childhood roots in the west of Scotland. So the, the book is set really all over the country. And uh, how much research did you have to do for this? I research all the places carefully. Mm -hmm. I know Scotland a lot from my childhood, and I went there again when I was actually writing the book in order to make sure that it's correct. That's very important to get the, the feel of the area right. It is, because there's a lot of local historians around. Absolutely, yeah. And they will pick you up if you just want yeah. to be wrong, won't they? Uh, what gave you the idea for writing? That's a very difficult question to answer. I've always been a writer. I decided to be a novelist before I started school. So it's taken me about half a century to get a book published. <laughs> it's not an overnight success story. <laughs> but, um, have you had anything published? Short stories, poems? Yes, I have. I've been a published writer for about 25, 30 years in non-fiction short stories. Um, the old little bit on radio and that sort of thing. <laughs> and do you have an author that you aspire to? Oh. That's a difficult one. Uh, in terms of crime writers, mm. I love Jeffrey Deaver's books, although I wouldn't say mine are like his. I also love things like Dick Francis and, yes. you know, things that, uh, that really race along at a good pace. Mm -hmm. um, and round here, local authors, I love Valerie Wood. Um, who you know, I'm sure. Uh, Linda Acaster as well, right mm -hmm. around here. Um, in fact, I'm getting together with some of the local authors next Saturday, the 18th, in Beverly. I'm doing a book signing in WH Smith from 11 till 12, and they're all calling along, and then we're going into the King's Head pub afterwards for a drink. So anybody who'd like to come along would be very welcome. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Um, do you belong to it, or have you belonged to a writer's group? I do, yes. I belong to Hornsey Writers, mm -hmm. and they have been an invaluable help to me. They're a very successful writers' group um, with several international awards. It's a published writers' group mm -hmm. now, um, with the television script writers and uh, novelists. And, yeah, well, um, Valerie Wood did say that being yeah. a, a writer of this thing is an isolating experience. So yeah. to get together with like minded mm -hmm. people, obviously. It helps enormously, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, Val Valerie, Valerie Reeves used to be a member, or is still a member of Haunted Writers, but can't get to often. She's written a biography recently of um, Dan Billamy, who uh, was from family, I think, from this area. Lovely. It's totally off the subject, but the South Riding is now being filmed again in Londonette. Have you read about that? I didn't know it was being filmed, but how wonderful. We, yeah. we need more films in this area. Yeah, so that's <laughs> wonderful, yeah. So, um, do you have uh, aspirations of your books being perhaps taken to a film or serialised? I would love to see them on the screen, big or little. I mean, that's something I think that all writers aspire to. Um, but as to whether or not it will happen, it's very difficult in these straightened times. <laughs> of course. <laughs> um, so you wrote even as a young girl, did you? Yeah. Yes. I was always writing, yes, it was always the thing I wanted to do. Do you also read a lot? Yes, I do, yes. yeah. Not just for research, but for no, leisure. I, I do tend to read all the time, I mean, when I get the time, of course. Yeah. Uh, what sort of books do you enjoy reading? That's another very difficult question, because my favourite book is usually the one I've just read. <laughs> And it, it changes from week to week, hour to hour. Um, I've recently reread Steve Larson, his trilogy. Oh, I think they're absolutely wonderful. Um, I've also been reading quite a few other 
crime novels. I've read quite a lot of the local writers lately, um, like Linda mm. Acaster, Valerie Wood's latest. Uh, well, when do you manage to get reading? Well, that's a good question. I do actually spend half my time working in London and half in Hull, so that means I spend quite a lot of time on trains. So if my brain is, is active, then I probably have to work. But once I'm tired, I get my book out, <laughs> and I read a lot on trains. <laughs> do you have a, a schedule during the day? Do you have sort of say, I'm going to start at 10 and work through to 4? Or, well, in the where the day jobs let me, I do. So if I, if I didn't have the day jobs, I would work to a much more rigid schedule. But I tend not to now because I can't. I often do get up early, so I can do two or three hours writing before I go off to work. Uh, and what's your normal everyday job? Well, I'm a lecturer at Hull University, half time. And I'm also chair of the Authors Licensing and Collecting Society, which is um, which are actually the largest writers' organisation in the world based in London. It collects secondary rights for authors. Do you have a, a home in London as well as up here? No, I don't. No, when I stay overnight, I either stay with friends or in hotels. <laughs> and which do you prefer, London or <laughs> Yorkshire? I would not live anywhere other than Yorkshire, but the London job is wonderful. It's very exciting. I love the London job. <laughs> and the, the London night, I suppose. I don't get to say too much of it, but yes, I don't think I could do that full time. Well, no, <laughs> it's really exhausting. Yeah, it is. Yes. Great. Anything else?